Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm Anish Patel from AndroidRoots.com. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to properly unroot slash unbrick the Samsung Galaxy S5. So here's my Samsung Galaxy S5, and this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide, for full tutorial on how to properly do it. Um, so let's say your phone is stuck in a boot loop. It's stuck at the Samsung screen. Maybe you want to go and remove root. Maybe you want to go ahead and go back to the stock Samsung ROM. Maybe you're because maybe because you're currently right now in CyanogenMod or Pinot or Android or on a custom ROM, and you don't like it, and you want to go. Back to complete stock just like the day you bought it this will work this is the guide this is the guide for you to get back to 100% stock fully functional get off that boot loop and you know be on your way um, so before you go ahead and begin I just want to give you guys a warning is make sure you do back up any important information um, music movies contacts any of that will be deleted every single last detail will be deleted off your internal storage so make sure you do back that up before you go ahead and proceed but the very first step is go ahead and power off your device so we can go ahead and enter into download mode so let's give it a few seconds to fully boot off so it's still on as you can see from the lights right there uh, we'll give it a few more seconds okay so once it is powered off go ahead and press the volume down home button and power button all at the same time and just keep holding them down until you get to this green text and you'll be at this uh, text right in here and it says volume up to continue of course we want to continue so press the volume up and you'll be at this screen so it says downloading do not turn off target now go ahead and plug in your phone via micro usb uh, you can use a U usb 2.0 port or usb 2.0 cable or you you can use the usb 3.0 cable that was included please use a samsung cables um, or you will run into problems and make sure you do plug it into a usb 3.0 port if you're using a usb 3.0 cable and a usb 2.0 port if you're using usb 2.0 cable or you may run into problems later on um, i'm gonna go ahead and use a usb 3.0 since everyone should have this cable since it came with the Galaxy S5 and it is connected to a USB 3.0 port on my Windows computer. Let's go ahead and head down to our Windows computer and finish this up. Okay, so for this part, um, here's my Windows 8 computer. I'm just on my uh, file explorer right here. Um, but you're going to be downloading one of these stock zip, stock tar zip files for your specific Galaxy S5 variant. Um, so if you have like a Canadian variant, uh, you're going to use you're going to download like Rogers right there. That one's Telus. Um, you know, if you have a Sprint, US Cellular, the International, all that good stuff. I'll have them linked down below. Download the specific one for your specific Galaxy S5 US variant. So like for me, I have the T-Mobile G9. 100T T-Mobile Galaxy S5. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one, G900T. Um, so just, just go ahead and download one of these. Um, only download the correct one. Um, you can just go, you can go ahead and look at your phone about device within settings to see your model number for the Galaxy S5. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just use this file for this uh, since I have a T-Mobile one. I'm going to go and right click on it and then you can go ahead and choose extract all and then you can go ahead and extract it. Um, it'll just go ahead and extract within this folder. Um, since it is quite a large file, it will take a little bit of time, so I'll be right back. Okay, so after just a few minutes, actually, you went ahead and extracted the zip file. Now, if I go ahead and open up this folder, the G900T for my specific uh, variant model number, um, as you can see, it's extracted, and if you look at the type, it says MD5 file. So don't unzip this, leave this alone. Once you unzipped the original file, which you'll download using the links down below, um, you, you got this folder right here, and make sure you just leave it in the MD5 file or you will run into problems. <laughs> it's not gonna work if you extract this, so just leave it alone like this. And you'll also need an, another uh, file folder thing, so you can go ahead and download Odin as well. Um, so here's Odin right here. Um, just go ahead and of course links down below to download this so go ahead and right click on it and do extract all again uh, click extract and here's Odin um, so we're gonna go ahead and click on Odin we're gonna go ahead and open it up um, go ahead and select yes for admin purposes there we go so as you can see it automatically shows this yellow box now if this does not show up with uh, you know with your Galaxy S5 already plugged in to you, directly to your computer don't use a USB hub Plug it in directly to a USB port on your computer. If this doesn't show up, go ahead and download Samsung USB drivers, which I'll also be linking down below in the video description. Um, so make sure this shows up or it will not work. This is a mandatory must. You must have this. Um, now go ahead and click on PDA right here and go ahead and locate that extracted stock uh, tar file. So mine was located under files, um, then Galaxy S5, stock files right here, and then he, it was under this folder, and here it is. So here's mine, um, like I mentioned earlier, MD5 file, you just gotta extract that, um, you'll be good to go. 
Um, so as you can see, it automatically go, went ahead and located it and has that check mark right there. Um, and make sure only auto reboot is check mark right here and you'll be good to go. Now go ahead and click on start and it'll go actually go ahead and flash the 100% stock Samsung files just like the day you first got it. Um, so it says uh, it's checking the MD5. This will take quite a bit, quite a bit of time just because it's such a large file and it's basically in reinstalling the whole Android OS onto your Galaxy S5, which is not a quick process. Um, and so as you can see, it went ahead and went through all the good stuff. Now it's actually um, installing everything. Um, and if you look at your Galaxy S5, it's actually, it actually does have a progress bar letting you know the progress uh, side by side with Odin. Um, so this will take about, uh, I gotta say, eight to 10, maybe eight to 15 minutes in total. So be patient and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so it's almost done as you can see by both the down on your phone and also on, on Odin. So it's only gonna be a few more seconds until it's totally done. And actually I'm surprised this whole process only took a few minutes, less than eight minutes definitely. Maybe it's because I'm using the USB 3.0 port instead of the USB 2.0. Um, or maybe just the Samsung Galaxy S5 got much more quicker. Um, so as you can see it only took four minutes. Um, you did get that green pass and that green pass is super important to see if it, everything did work out. and uh, down here, if you look, it says succeed one and failed zero. Um, so that's also very, very important to make sure everything did go uh, as planned. Um, so if you get failed to one, that means everything did not go as planned and something did go wrong. So make sure you do try it again. Make sure you didn't mess with the cable or anything. Um, as you can see now, my Samsung Galaxy S5 is booting up and it's probably gonna be a loud boot up logo with T-Mobile. Oh wow, so it's actually silent. I'm surprised. Um, it's usually loud. <laughs> um, so that's a nice surprise. So since we just installed basically a new fresh OS of Android, this boot up will take probably five minutes. I'm probably going to be wrong just because I think uh, the Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy S5 is a lot slower than it actually is. Um, so why not just make it three minutes? The boot up will be three minutes just because uh, we just installed a new Android OS. So I'll be back in a few. Okay, as you can see, Android is upgrading, so it's a very good sign that everything is working properly. So this will take another few minutes just because it's optimizing all the apps. So I'll be back in a few. Okay, so it looks like it's almost done. It says starting apps, finishing a boot. So we are almost done. And there you guys go. So if you go ahead and unlock your screen, um, you will have, you should have your original apps. So let's see if you do, yes, okay. So this, Okay, so I actually planned for this. So as you can see, all your apps are still here. The widget, yep, there you go. The widget did load. Um, so now if I go ahead and go into settings, it will show I'm actually on stock RAM, um, which it should. Um, so about device right here. And uh, did it work? Yes, it did. So good thing. So it says build number right there. SE, Android status, all that good stuff is here because I was previously running on a Android custom ROM. Um, so they go as planned, but this is how you get on stock ROM, but we're not done yet. If you want to go ahead and if you're planning on sending this back to Samsung or if you want to get on true stock, removing all the apps, all the app data and all that, we have to do one more step. So go ahead and unplug your device and this isn't mandatory. Um, this is for the people who want to remove everything uh, if they're planning on sending it back to their carrier, Samsung, or really want to go back to stock with everything removed or if you got stuck in a boot loop. Um, so if you're, at the, if you're stuck at the Samsung screen right now after using Odin, um, go ahead and use this procedure. Um, so go ahead and power off your device or take out the battery if you're stuck at the boot loop. Um, so go ahead and power off and we're going to go ahead and enter into recovery mode and do a factory reset and this will make it, you know, for real, we'll remove everything. So this is a very good thing that it did work properly. So once it is powered off, we're gonna go ahead and press the volume up this time, home button and power button all at the same time. So just keep holding all three until you see a blue text at the top left corner right there. So there you guys go, the blue uh, text right there. And yes, this is gonna be very good. We're gonna go and enter into stock recovery after this Android guy does finish loading. Okay, so here is stock recovery. Let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. And right here within here, we're going to go ahead and select a wipe data slash factory reset and use the volume up and down and power button to select it. So all the way down to wipe data slash factory reset and use the power button to select it. And we're going to go all the way down to yes, delete all user data and select it. And it's doing a factory reset right there. Um, so this will just take a few seconds to finish. Okay, so it's done. And now we're going to go ahead and do wipe cast partition right here, select it, and it's going to go ahead and finish up. And now we're going to go ahead and select reboot system. Now, 
and it's gonna go and reboot it. Now this time, this will take a few extra minutes just because we did a factory reset to uh, you know wipe everything off our Android device. Um, so this is the ultimate uh, cleaning, uh, removing everything. If you want everything to be gone, make sure you follow the whole procedure. Um, this will bring you back to stock RAM, uh, remove root, uh, remove a boot loop if you got stuck on a boot loop and ultimately just bring you back to 1% just like the day you bought it Android um, that's safe enough to uh, you know uh, give back to your carrier or really anyone um, you know in that matter all the information is removed so I'll just give it a few seconds and we'll finish this up okay so here we are at our boot up screen as you can see it's just like the day you first got it from your carrier or you know when you ordered it online I'm gonna go ahead and skip through all of this just to show you that we are actually all the applications are removed from here so I'm gonna go ahead and skip through all this signing in and stuff that I really don't care about we're gonna go ahead and tap on next right here and just within a few seconds we'll be at our home screen and I'll show you everything is actually removed and I'll show you within settings again so close this Okay, so here we are. As you can see, we're on the usual Samsung wallpaper. All my applications are gone. If you go ahead and go to the app drawer, as you can see, all my custom apps are gone. My theme, wallpaper, all that is gone. If you go ahead and slide by, um, you got your magazine right there. All your widgets are here. And then if we go ahead and go into settings, all the way down to about device right here you will see that we are running on Android 4.4.2 the latest version um, build number all that good stuff is on 100% stock Samsung so that is how you unroot slash unbrick the Samsung Galaxy S5 for any variant like I mentioned earlier all the files and a written step-by-step -step guide is located down below in the video description and if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom of the corner right there do appreciate all the support guys and remember there's more Samsung Galaxy S5 videos around the corner so be sure to stay tuned for that and don't forget to, don't forget to follow me on twitter facebook and google plus which is also located down below in the video description i'll catch you guys later peace